Welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. In this video we're going to show you how to make a plastic bowl using a laser cutted mold. So making molds like this means you can make them very accurate and easy to make another one because you just laser all the parts again. Um, we provide all the drawings for this in our download pack and we have Matthijs from the Netherlands, he's going to show you how to do that. Hello. Hey. First I will show you how to make a laser cut mold, then I will show you the molding process and at last I will show you how to finish up the bowl. Let's get started. Yeah. So before making the mold, make sure that you separate all the parts so it's easy to recognize them and then remove all the brims with the angle grinder so it's easier to connect them together. I started with welding the small bowl. I just took some plates and welded the points together. Always make sure to first weld all the corners together and then make the long lines. This prevents the parts of warping. After finishing the small bowl, I welded the big bowl. With the big bowl I want to be sure that all the edges are really flush. So I use some tape and some matches to first hold it into place and then weld everything together. After welding the bowls, make sure to make the edges as smooth as possible. This will make it easier to release the bowl from the mold. Especially the inner bowl should be really, really smooth. So after grinding, I use sandpaper to sand it down first and then to polish it. Especially the inner part should be as smooth as possible so it's easy to take it out. Um, this wall is a bit more difficult to sand, so I used some sandpaper and did it by hand. Before uh, you finish the bowls, you need to attach those spacers. First make sure that the spacers will fit and then weld them together. Now the bowls are almost finished for using them. Um, I use some paint first to make it uh, recognizable which part is the inner and which one is the outer part. So I made, made them black. So it's easy to recognize and easy to stack them together. For the molding process I use some mold release. This step is optional, you don't need it. But this can help with getting the, mold, uh, the ball out of the mold. So if you recognize your ball is sticking to the mold you can use some mold release to make it easier to remove. The ball approximately weighs 300 grams. I uh, use around 350 gram of plastic, so it's easy to recognize when everything is molten in the oven. You can see some material flow out and then, then you know it's time to get it out of the oven and clamp it together. Then if you fill it, make sure that it already will touch the sides. And then put the counterpart in. and make sure it's evenly spread. Uh, after filling the bowl, I put it into the oven. The oven was on 220 degrees uh, preheated. After 30 minutes, I checked if the material was totally molten by compressing the mold. When I saw that the material was flowing out, I turned off the oven and let it cool down. To streamline your process, you can also compress outside of the oven. For that we did an upgrade on the oven, this you can see at the upgrade page of the start section of the website. So this was the molding process. Um, for finishing up the bowl I used a sharp knife. Polypropylene is not easy to sand because it's too soft. So I used a sharp knife to first remove the excess material and then I scratch all the edges which make them really smooth and nice. At last I uh, added the polypropylene logo, this to make sure that you still know this ball is made of polypropylene so it will be recyclable in the future. 
After mastering the technique of making this ball, you can play around with colors. Like mixing different colors together, making a proper green one, making a just plain white one. Or to play with different materials like polystyrene, really solid. Or this one also from polystyrene, this one is a nice polished finish and it's also translucent as you can see. All right, thank you. Um, so that was the process on how to make your own mold using laser cutted parts and how to make a bowl. If you want to know more about how to finish a, a bowl, you can watch the video on our website. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to post the topic in our forums. So see you next time. Bye. How do you